Welcome to another Ghana vlog, starting with me watching my kids swim while I'm editing my Ghana memoir in the making. If you are thinking about publishing your own book, please get my free book writing and publishing guide. The link is in the description below. Party spirit is always alive in Ghana, whether you are going all in or just soaking up the vibes on the sidelines. But let's get back to business. Have a look at this super cool co-working spot in Accra. It's a haven for digital nomads, remote workers and all my creative folks. Concluding the day, it's La Paz. Fabric <laughs> shopping. Yeah. How much? Yes. This is 24 Payard. 24 what? 24 cities. Payard. That was 13 cities Payard. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. Hello. 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 Let's try not to get killed. Careful. Ah. Okay. Yeah, so we say like switch. Okay, go. Ahead. Go ahead. No, yeah. Okay, so this is showing how Ghana is switching from the typical getting your hair braided, sitting down for hours right. to already made. made hair that you can just put right. on and go. Yeah, that's it. The plantain is fresh and cooked so well. And the stew is amazing. It's not too oily. It's just perfect. Mm, 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 mm. And the fish. Oh my god. This is amazing. Like, amazing. The best in Kondomar stew I've ever had. Love it. Have some on me. There you go. Mm, good, right? Let me show you the color of this plantain. So good, my god. This plantain is perfect. And the stew. It's just beautiful. Wow. Ah, it's so fresh. I've just finished eating. It was amazing. And um, I ate more than I normally would. And I don't regret it at all. It was amazing. We are done. Somewhere along this stretch, you will stumble upon Rita Marley's residence. Yes, Bob Marley's wife. And speaking of Bob, I can hardly wait for the general release of his biopic, One Love. Once I've watched it, I am planning to review it on this channel. And maybe I'll even invite a musician who played with and was good friends with Bob. If you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time. There's some exciting stuff on the horizon. Right there.
What's happening? It's not a go to go through. He wants to still drive through. I'm gonna go past him too. So is he parked or what? That's why I don't know. Guys, mm -hmm. yes, what are you doing? What are they saying? They said about something. No. Did he park or what? I don't know. I don't know if he's standing or something. Let's talk about Abori Gardens. It's not too far from Accra and makes for a perfect spot for the kids to connect with nature, something that's very limited in Accra. Unfortunately, there aren't many kid-friendly activities there, period. So, since it crashed, it's been here? It's been here for this year, so it's been for tourist attraction and all that because it's just been here. Kind of no, it's a real one. It's a real it's one. I wish it was working. Go inside. You like to look at all these things. I wish so it was So guess what? The pilots cook. actually climb up. I wish it was an actual cook on here. Head you have to climb upstairs. So this is where the pilots were sitting. And you have the engines right there. And then you have the rotary going down to the long. <laughs> what? It's not stable. It's not stable. Is it not stable? Go okay. I want to go higher. Are you sure? If it's not stable, don't go. Please, don't be showing off. If, it, if you know that it's not stable, don't don't go. I don't. I'm not complaining, but if I have not reached maximum satisfaction, I must go higher, mother. Are you okay there? Yeah, I'm sure. What's that? He's okay. He's okay. Oh, never mind. If you have a pop, then it's actually a lot easier. Really high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they come to do photo shoots.
try if it's edible. That means if you don't see this vlog, that means it's not edible. I'm gonna try it. So this is Ghana for you. There is no such thing as noise control. Um, when the city of Accra wakes up, you wake up. <laughs> anyway, it's time to move. It is 10 a.m. So I'm going to Osu. I'm going to have an interview with Hayford from Web Nation Africa. Yes. And yeah. The show must go on. You know, I wasn't able to get a comfort. Uh, which would have AC, uh, they were all busy. A normal Uber or whatever boat, they don't do AC, so you have to keep your window open, which means your hair is gonna be flying all over the place and the dust and everything else. I hope he's gonna come in a minute and not cancel on me because that's what they do during the festive season. We are waiting, I hope they'll come so I'm not late. With Around the mosquitoes really had their way with me, I have to tell you. So I have my office with me right here. I wasn't planning to work today, but whenever I go for a meeting in Ghana, you know, people understand time in Ghana very differently. So just in case I have it with me, so I can do some work while I'm waiting, if I have to wait. So the driver asked me to pay, the driver asked me to pay for AC. I love these. Yes. I love these. This is 
I love them. These are the chairs that I love. Um, I've seen them before, like in a, a bar, African yeah. bar in London. Oh. Yeah. And um, in wow. Europe, this would be really expensive. I wonder how much they are here. So this goes for 3,000 cities, I told you. Again. 3,000 cities. So that's like 200 pounds. 200 pounds, yes. 200. What about this big table? How much? The table? Uh, 500. What's that? 500. 500 what? Uh, 500. Huh? Yeah, 500. 500. What? 500 what? Uh, 500. Hey, so the few times I came to Ghana, well, I've been coming to Ghana for two and a half years. I've put on weight. <laughs> There's a lot of carbs here. You can get carried away with, and I did. Um, so now I just had my Pilates workout. Sorry for the noise in the background. I'm just about to treat myself to a little watermelon. courtesy of my lovely, lovely hosts. Mm. This watermelon is amazing. It's not what you get outside. Well, except for the summertime in Poland, for instance. I remember having watermelon this good. Love it. Mm. This is why we love Ghana. But now it is time to head back to London. So here we are at Malcolm Supermarket. I wanted to grab a little gift box to show my host some appreciation. Next stop, Kotoka Airport. Gradually getting back into my London shoes from slippers. What time is it? Five something, five something AM. I lost my scarf, which is not a good thing in this weather. 